Today we're gonna to be talking about mistakes that buyers make all the time that cost them thousands of dollars or even losing out on their dream home. And we're gonna get started right after this. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ladina Strand with Homes by Strand, powered by Remax Town & Country in Portra, Washington. Now, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification down below to be kept up to date on all things real estate in Kitsap County. Now, pro tip, you're gonna wanna stay till the very end of this video as I'm gonna be sharing with you how to get your free copy of my Ultimate Home Buyer's Guide. So you definitely wanna stick around. Today we're going to be talking about the five most common mistakes that first time home buyers make. Number one, taking on new debt while you are under contract. When you guys are first starting the process of purchasing a home, you're going to be working with a lender to find out what type of loan you qualify for, how much, what type of interest rate, and they're going to be looking at different things to see what you qualify for. Now one of the things we'll be looking at is your debt to income ratio. How much debt is going out and how much income is coming in. So if you go out and buy a brand new car or you buy a whole bunch of brand new furniture on your credit card, it changes your debt ratio. Therefore, you may not qualify for that loan anymore because you accrued new debt. So as exciting as it is to get a new home, I just tell my buyers, don't go out and make any big purchases. You wanna wait until your home has been closed on and you're officially in the house. Number two, being unrealistic and inflexible. Now what I mean by this, guys, is that there's no such thing as a perfect home. Now when you find the home, you may, there may be some things you're gonna have to compromise on. So things that you can think about would be your commute time to work, uh, the type of school districts, how big the house is. Now some of these things might fluctuate in different areas, but you have to realize that you're gonna have to compromise on something. But you can find a home that has most of everything that you want. Also, focusing on small things such as paint color, the condition of the carpet, the doorknobs, things that you can actually change and that you have the power to change on. And what you really wanna focus on is things that you can't change, like the layout of the house or the structure of the house or where, where the house is located. Those are things that you actually want to focus on, not the really small, minute details that you actually have the capabilities to fix and that are relatively inexpensive. Mistake number three, not getting pre-approved. Now I know guys, it's so exciting to go out and look for a house, but what you really wanna do before you start house hunting is get pre-approved. You wanna know what type of loan you're gonna get, what type of interest rate. If there's something that you can work on so that you get a better interest rate, your payments will be lower. So if you guys go out and you start house hunting and you're looking above your price range, it's gonna be heartbreaking once you find out that you can't afford that house. So you definitely wanna get pre-approved. One, to make sure that you know your budget, Two, if you need to work on something, you can figure out you know, the, the timeline of when it would be best to purchase a home. And mistake number four, relying on Zestimates. Now I have buyers all day long that tell me, well, Zello, you know, this property pulled up for this much, and Zello said this, and Zello said that. Guys, Zestimates are so inaccurate. They are not the best tool to use to base the value of a home. And the reason why is because they really don't have up-to-date information. They don't know the condition of the property, they don't know um, the neighborhood, the views that the property has. So that's a really, really inaccurate tool. So I tell all my buyers to stay away from it and I would advise you guys to do the same. And mistake number five, working with online lenders. Now sometimes looking online guys can lead to many, many problems. Now I know you wanna find the best interest rate online and you want to try to get that information as soon as possible, but the best ideal thing for you to do is work with a local lender. Now the role of the lender is such a huge factor in the home buying process. You guys wanna work with a lender who is responsive and communicates well and also gets the paperwork done on time. So what I recommend to all my buyers is to find a local lender. Number one, they're gonna be in the same time zone so you don't have to worry about if this person is three hours behind or if they're three hours ahead. You don't have to worry about any of that because they're in the same time zone. Usually they're very responsive because they're actually in your area. Also, local lenders know about laws and regulations in your state and they can actually educate you about incentive programs that can help you. Okay guys, so those are the five most common mistakes that first time home buyers make. And I hope that, that you learned something today and hopefully avoid those mistakes if you have not yet purchased a home. So please give this video a thumbs up. If you did learn something today, please comment below. And if you can guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell. 
Now, as promised, I have included uh, the link in the description below to download your free copy of my ultimate home buyer's guide that will walk you step by step through the home buying process. So don't forget to download it before you leave. And I'll see you on the next one. Make it a great home buying and selling day. See you soon.